I know what you are thinking, it's an EV. How will an EV save the manual gearbox? Well, Lexus will use some fancy technology to create a simulated manual. The president of Lexus, Koji Sato, says he's experimenting with how to simulate a manual gearbox in the upcoming electric LFA successor. Now, if he succeeds, it will be good for the successor of the LFA. The original LFA is a unicorn car that people love and adore, and it's widely known to be the best sounding V10 money can buy. And that's the problem with the new one, going from something that is known for sounding like this. this. For me personally, EVs lack character. Yes, they are stupidly fast, but that's not the only important thing when you make a truly great car. A truly great car is great because of the way it makes you feel when you drive it. When a car can scream all the way to redline, or if you shift down a gear and you have to rev match, it's stuff like that that makes driving fun. So, if they can make an EV that requires a bit more engagement from the driver, it would be really cool. Right now, he's fiddling with the software to see if he can simulate the feel of a manual gearbox. In order to make EVs just as engaging to drive as an internal combustion powered car, Koji Sato told Top Gear, I'm looking for better engagement, even in an EV. I want another link from the car to the driver. It's not just about efficiency, I love cars and I want something different. And he's not wrong, it would make this thing different. Most EVs only have one forward going gear, at maximum two, and this mad scientist wants to make it feel like a six speed manual. But here is my question, will this manual feel like a true manual? What do I mean? Well, here's the thing, when you drive a modern automatic car and you put it in manual mode, the car will still shift if it thinks you are doing a bad job. So if you drive a manual EV, I want to choose when the fake gear changes happen. Then comes the power delivery of an EV. I mean, they've got maximum torque at like zero RPM. How would that work? How would you launch this thing? Will it have a clutch? Would it be difficult? And would the clutch have any feel? And then another question, could you stall this EV? I, I have so many questions actually, um, but only time will tell exactly how he's gonna make this thing work. All this to say, at least they are trying to keep the manual alive, and the new EV LFA will have some other things that are going for it. Like, it's claimed to get to 60 in the low 2 second range, which is a hell of a lot quicker than the 3.7 seconds the V10 version took. Then the car will also feature a range of 435 miles on a single charge. It will also use torque vectoring to improve handling and realize vehicle dynamics. It seems like Saito is pulling out all the stops to make the new Lexus just as desirable and loved as the old LFA. Sato himself said, I really want the car to be in Halo, a showcase for the future of Lexus driving dynamics to express the overall Lexus driver's signature. To me, it seems like this dude really loves cars. And yes, EVs will never have the same character as an internal combustion powered vehicle. But I respect the fact that he's trying to make the best out of the situation. People are pushing for EVs. And when life gives you an EV, give them a stick shift. Somehow the lemonade one works better. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down below what you think of this whole manual EV thing. Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's stupid? I'm interested to see where it's going. Like, it could be cool, but I don't know how he's going to implement it. There's a lot of things that just doesn't make sense to my brain. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you like it. Um, if you did like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you do like my content, just go to my channel. I've got so many videos on car stuff. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. Anyways, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.